Well, I'm, I'm kind of everyone's, every breast cancer survivor's worst nightmare, really, because I was first diagnosed in 2004 um, with stage one. And I came back with my nodes clean and everything, and I, I did chemo, and I, I did the double mastectomy. I did everything right. And, but for some odd reason, um, the cancer went to the lymph node behind my breastbone, which is practically unheard of. And so it was allowed to grow there for several years. It didn't cause me any problems. And now it's in my bones, so I'm considered stage four. And um, unless there's a miracle, you know, I'm gonna be going home soon. And I'm kind of double-minded about it because there's part of me that is kind of excited in a weird way, you know, because I'm, I'm, I know where I'm going and it's gonna be a great place. And then, but there's this other part of me that's not ready to go yet. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm too young. And I feel for the people that I'm leaving behind, you know, especially my girls. <sighs> Probably not gonna see them grow up, you know. I feel cheated out of grandbabies. I feel cheated out of weddings. I, I feel, you know, I'm double-minded. I have this, this, I don't this argument with myself. Two different feelings about this same thing. You know, and I feel for people who don't have a relationship with God and they're going through this. I don't know how they did it. I really don't. And I even feel for those people who maybe do have a relationship but don't really know Him. I mean, know Him to the very core of your being. Know that He is good. Know that He loves you because it, sometimes it doesn't seem like that. It doesn't seem like He's good. It doesn't seem like He loves me. You know, and, but since I know that with every inch of me, you know, that's, that's my hope and that's my comfort. And I, I really do feel for anyone who does not have that foundation.